with all those colors now applied and let dry for a bit, I moved on to applying the first coat of clear. This is also from Tamiya and it's TS13. This is their high gloss clear coat. Now I just apply a light mist coat as I don't want to run the risk of getting a run. With the first coat applied, though being far from perfect, I let it dry for 10 minutes anyway and moved on to applying the second light coat in the same fashion as I did the first one. And again, the second coat is now applied and far from perfect as well. I again let it dry for about 10 minutes as I'm building up the layers so that I can polish it later on. And then moving on to applying a third and final coat. Not going for the perfect shine as that is pretty much unobtainable with spray cans from Tamiya like these or any other brand that are not 2K clear coats. So the reason for applying three coats is that I can just lightly sand it up and polish it to a smooth and shiny finish later on. After applying that third and final coat and making sure everything was covered, I let it dry for about five days before moving on to touching it and polishing it. It is already dry before you reach those five days, though it is not fully hardened and even after those five days it's still not fully hardened, but you want to get it as hard as it possibly can be in the shortest amount possible. So I just let it dry over the week and started back on it in the weekend. I moved firstly to sanding it down with a 1200 grit dry, figuring out that it's not really, really a good idea to do this dry. Just wet the sandpaper with some regular water as it will slide over the clear coat a lot easier and it will remove all the dirt that might be stuck in between the paint and the sandpaper that could easily scratch it even harder. So don't be stupid, just wet the sandpaper, keep it wet, and it will be a lot easier to sand the body smooth. So as mentioned, I'm just doing it in some water and then trying again with a lot better of a result. It's a lot easier to sand it and you can feel your progress uh, and you can easily just wipe it off and see where you still need to sand. If there are still glossy spots or bubbly spots, just sand it a bit more and then wipe it off, check it over. If it's okay, move on to the next spot. If it's not, try over again. Also, another important thing, the edges are really, really easy to go through. So just stay away from them as they are already perfectly painted and the orange peel is not as visible on those areas. So just focus on the big flat spots. With all the shininess now gone from the hood, move on to the second grit. I skipped from 1200 all the way to 2000, doing exactly the same as I did with the 1200. 
then making sure that all those scratches are gone and that they're now 2000 grit scratches, making it a lot easier for the next stage to also just be polished out. With the 1200 grid scratches now gone, you're left with a smooth surface. It's a bit shinier than it was, and you're ready to move on to polishing out those 2000 grid scratches and making them into 2500. Now this is the final stage for the sanding. You could go all the way up to 3000 and even up to 12000, though I figured that that is not really necessary, as the polishing compounds I will use next will take care of that and make it shine just as well. So with all of the body sanded smooth and looking dull, no more shiny spots except for all the sharp edges and corners you can't reach and are not supposed to reach, it's time to move on to a three-stage polishing, starting it off with some Meguiar's Scratch X. Now you could also use various other brands, I just figured out for me that this works really well. For instance, you could also use Tamiya's own compound set that works just as well. Now what you do is you put some on your uh, polishing cloth and just go around in circles, scratching it a bit more, but removing those 2500 grid scratches and making the surface shine a bit more. If you feel like you haven't used enough, just take out a bit more and go over it again. After this stage it's not perfectly shiny yet but it's starting to get there. Move on to the next step giving it the final shine. Apply it the same way you did with the scratch X. Put a small amount on your cloth and just go around in circles making sure you're rubbing it in really well and that it grabs onto the paint making it even shinier. So now that the paint is all shiny and looking good, it's time for some protection and some more final shine from the third step, giving it some Carnuba wax, also from Meguiar's. This is something to protect the paint and makes it easier in a later stage to give it a light wipe down, removing all those fingerprints you've put on it from touching and assembling the model. With the 
wax now on, let it dry for a couple of minutes, and then you're ready to wax off. With the final shine now achieved and the body given some protection from the wax, all you're left with is some of the polishing material and compounds in between the panel lines. Easy way to fix that is just use some water and a soft toothbrush to get that out, dry the body off, and you're ready to move on to the next stage in assembly or detailing.